Hello everyone, Camille here from Morphosoaps. Thanks for joining me with this soap making video today. Um, so today we're doing the other Valentine soap for the Valentine theme this year. I have here my pad already. I have my additives added in. So we have kaolin clay. I'm, I'm just gonna stick blend a little bit while I'm telling you. So we have kaolin clay, colloidal oatmeal, coconut milk, and aloe vera juice added to the oils and butters. And here we have the smell, we have the colors we will be using in this design and the lye water solution. I also have here some heart embed that I have it prepared, uh, prepared to put it inside the soap. We will be using two of these colon molds. One is going inside the soap and the other one will be on top of the soap. So now that all my uh, oils and butters mixed with the additives, so we have here coconut oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, um, olive oil, castor oil, and we will add the lye water solution. We will mix this, I'll stick blend it. I just need a light emulsion. And that's it. If you can, I don't know if you noticed the color darkened. And that's where we know we have reached the emulsion. Not even a trace, but emulsion. So they're all mixed up. So now I will go ahead and uh, measure the portions that I will be using. I'll be doing three layers. Um, so. so in the first layer, I will be using white and purple, white and pink color. And I'll be doing uh, in, in the pot swirl. So this one will divide it into two. So mostly white. And I'm using some titanium dioxide dispersed in oil. For this one I would have to stick blend a little bit. Hopefully the color comes up. And the other one would be pink. That's enough. It's, it's a strong pink color. definitely helped. The color is more white. For the titanium dioxide I find that using the water dissolvable one or water soluble one better for the color. It gives a brighter white. So I will add some of the fragrance into this. It mixed up. And some for the pink. So I will pause the video for a second because I want the colors, I want the both to set a little bit they're very runny so so after about i would say three four minutes it's still okay so that's it but this is definitely workable it should give nice swirls Okay. 
I'll just go with the spatula like this, one turn, and then I'll bring in the mold. And we'll pour it. So I will um, I will be back again. I'll wait for this layer to set up more. Or well, actually, I'll just put the mold on the side probably, and work on the next layer. Just I will tap it a little bit to make sure we don't have air bubbles. Sorry for the sounds. And the mold goes to the side. And grab the next layer this is gonna be a silver layer so we have white and pink in the pot swirl then we have a silver layer and then the last one will be only the pink color and we'll texture the top and have the embed on top as well the hearts this is sterling silver i'll add the fragrance And mix it well. I would say this fragrance is well behaved, like it doesn't accelerate. Um, it's love spell. It's from Crafter's Choice. I think that's the one I used. It's an essential oil and fragrance oil blend. It behaves really well in soap. So this is ready to pour but I will stick blend a little bit because I want it to set up fast. This is still runny. But I will go ahead and pour it on the spatula. I don't want to wait more. Because the silver layer is setting up. Now it's, it might pour through a little bit, which is fine. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So, now that we have the layer covered, I'm gonna go and add in the heart embed. And then we'll finish it with the remainder of the ba of the batter.
This is good. I'll bring you back when we're mixing the third layer. I'm gonna tap it this on the floor a little bit more. So this is the remainder of the batter. I'm gonna add the fragrance to it. I'll add the color. And then We'll finish with the third layer. So it's a lighter pink. I'm thinking to stink blend a little bit. And here we are. Clean up my hands. Ready for the last pour. And that's gonna be the last layer. I feel like I see some rising in the batter, although that scent never rised on me. Even with the other two layers, we didn't notice anything like that. Or maybe I'm mistaken. No, it's not rising, no. So we will pour it. And then I will texture the top. Because I don't want to over pour it. But at the same time, I want to have room for the other heart embed on top, so I think that's good. A little bit here more. That's it. So. I will wait for it to, to settle a little bit. Then I will spoon the top. Uh, move them and create like a higher layer here and then I'm, I will put we, um, the heart and bat on top of this layer So now that the top is kind of settled, I'll just move it with the spoon a little bit just to kind of create another layer and a nice design. So then we come with the heart column and Put it this way. So it's kind of going inside, but at the same time, doing this with my hand, which is okay. I have gloves on. Here we go. So when we cut the soap, you will kind of see the heart showing on top and part of the soap inside, and then another heart that would be inside the silver layer that we did earlier. So this is the design I was going to. So hopefully it's, it will look nice. I'll see you again tomorrow. I mean, when I cut the soap, it's gonna be tomorrow. For now, I'll just spritz it with some alcohol and put it on the side. See you tomorrow. Hello everyone, Camille here from Morpho Soaps. Thanks for joining me with the cutting of the Valentine soap. So this is the soap that we did yesterday. Today after, it's almost, I would say, 
No, I think I'm going to lay this down. It's better. Not risk it. After... Um... 10, 12 hours. It's not like a full day because we did that like a different time. Anyways, we're cutting the soap and here we go. We're going through the first embed, the heart embed. I can feel it. The cutter gets hard and then this is the second one. Wow, good. And that's the result. Just like the way I imagined it. A nice heart in the middle of the gray in the pot swirl if you remember when i was pouring the, i was putting the gray a layer on top this wasn't set up perfectly fine and i said that it's okay it might interfere and then we have the pink layer with the red heart on top so i would say this is a very successful um, bar and design that i was going for I hope you guys enjoy watching it and you like it. If you do like it, you can always give us a thumbs up, comment, show some love. We're talking about the Valentine soap, so this is time to show some love and support the small businesses. And if you're looking to purchase one of these for someone, we are listing them in the website on Etsy. And that's it. Until next week, I'll see you again with another soap. Take care of yourself. Oh, look at this part. We have some of the pink on top of the heart. That wasn't planned at all. I don't know how this came here, but... All right, take care of yourself, and I'll see you again. Bye for now.